Something that's memorable is worth remembering or likely to be remembered, because it's special or very enjoyable. And we know that every Remed show is a memorable moment for us. But there are some of those moments that are truly special for fans, and they are rewatched it over and over again. For me, the entire show at Zap Tokyo is memorable. At the Archeology, we saw the performance of Onset and Reexistence, which became the official live video for these songs. We had the epic battle between Konami and Misa that happened in Don't You Tell Me. And it was at Zap Tokyo Kyoji that we saw this happen. And Miku singing the last chorus of freedom. But we can't forget the beautiful Kusk version of Puzzle. And speaking of Kusk versions, why not mention the Christmas Kyoji? That was a special gift for the fans. <laughs> When I asked fans what is their favorite Miku moments, a large portion of them said Sayonaki Dori Okoski version. <laughs> the Christmas Okyoji was also an opportunity to listen to Okoski version of some songs. <laughs> If I make a video about memorable moments, I have to mention something that recently happened at Bola Paulusa. I could talk about a barrel that happens again after years. Or maybe you think I'm gonna talk about this memorable guy. But not. I'm talking about the song of the tour, Hate. The song Hate was released a year ago, but this song has only started to receive a lot of attention now, and this is started at Lola Pabuza concert. That performance was just perfect. In the drum transition between Dice and Hate was something that certainly no one was expecting. The whole song is very high energy, but I kinda, she's just saying this song. But after watching the live performance of Hate, I don't think anyone feels this song more than Konami. Miku else deserves attention here. But the climax of the Lollapalooza show was after the end of the second chorus of Hate. There was a Kane, Misa, and Kanami saying to whoever was watching then, 